What do we have here, Ken? Let's see. Oh, it's a, an indictment, all right. Why don't you read it to me? Mr. You're on for election, aren't you? Mr. Mr. Bundy? You got it, didn't you? Mr. Bundy? You told me that you told him that you were going to get me. He said he was going to get me. Okay, you've got the indictment. It's all you're going to get. Let's read it. Let's go. Theodore Robert Bundy, you are charged, indictment, two counts burglary, two counts murder in the first degree, three counts attempted murder in the first degree design or intent to affect the death of said Lisa Lee. My chance to talk to the press. Contrary to section 78204 Florida statute. I'll plead not guilty right now. And your grand jurors being... Born on November the 24th, 1946, Theodore Robert Bundy was one of the rare cases that earned recognition as a blueprint for serial murder. Throughout the 1970s, he traveled across multiple states, raping and slaughtering young women while leaving their scattered remains in wooded areas. He was connected to at least 36 murders while facing execution on Florida's death row, although sources believe he had committed a number of additional killings that remain unknown. He screamed his innocence until his death in the electric chair, then tried to use his victims to save his own life. His plan failed, and the world learned of the darkness that inspired the life and crimes of Ted Bundy. Ted started life as his mother's secret shame. He was delivered at a home for unwed mothers and later brought to Philadelphia to stay with his grandparents. To disguise the fact he was illegitimate, Bundy was raised as the couple's adopted son and was told that his mother was his sister. After moving to Tacoma, Washington in 1951, his mother married a man by the name of John Bundy and the couple had several children together. As far as Ted was concerned, there was no reason to question his upbringing. Bundy was known as a bright student who excelled in school, but failed to have the same result with his peers. And like other children that thrived on attention and affection, Bundy preferred isolation from family and friends. Despite his bashful nature, Bundy grew into an attractive, intelligent teenager who got along with his peers by hiding his fear of social anxiety. Outside of school, he displayed a disturbing obsession with knives and began inflicting violence towards neighborhood animals. He enjoyed the life of a petty thief and thought nothing of stealing the things he wanted. By 1974, Ted had taken on a completely new personality, going from a shy and tedious degenerate to a confident law student that was active in social and political matters. He graduated from college with a degree in psychology and had been accepted into law school. Around the same time, various women in the Seattle area had been reported missing with rumors circulating of a dark-haired stranger known as Ted, who approached women for help, sometimes appearing helpless with a cast on his arm. A few months after his move to Utah in the fall of 1974, a series of young women began disappearing there as well. Investigators compared the cases of the women who had disappeared. They were all white, thin, single and had long hair that was parted in the middle. The bodies of the dead women had all been hit with a blunt object to the head, raped and sodomized. The following year, Bundy was pulled over and placed into custody when police found a collection of burglary tools in his car. Bundy was interrogated and convicted on charges of kidnapping. Two years later, he faces additional charges for the death of a young woman in Colorado, sealing any chance of Bundy ever seeing the light of day while in custody of the state. During the course of his incarceration, Bundy managed to escape custody on two different occasions. The first, during a trip to the prison library where he jumped out of an open window, only to be captured eight days later. The second attempt, made through an opening in the ceiling of his prison cell, would prove to be the worst of his crimes upon his arrival in Florida. To make matters worse, authorities were unaware that Bundy was missing for 15 hours, giving the intuitive killer a head start on the police. On the night of January the 14th, 1978, Ted Bundy broke into the Kyle Mega Sorority house and attacked four of the young female residents, 
bludgeoning two of them to death before making his escape. Close to a month later, on January the 14th, Bundy kidnapped and strangled a young girl before his final arrest, marking the end of the serial killer's unforgiving trail of terror. On the morning of January the 24th, 1989, Bundy finally met his fate at the Florida State Prison in the form of the electric chair. During the execution, crowds gathered outside of the prison, cheering and setting off fireworks in a morbid celebration of Ted's life coming to an end. According to police, Bundy had confessed to a total of 36 killings prior to his death. Although experts believe that the final tally may be closer to 100 or more, 